Hey everyone, Dareside. I uh, decided to do a, a vlog. I started with one vlog. Um, I'm redoing it. Decided to uh, change topics, so why not? So, as you all know, um, well, okay, we don't all know, so we're, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna state it. Uh, I have three days left of official classes before I graduate. Uh, currently, my last year of hospitality and tourism management. It has been a hell of a year. Uh, we had the longest strike, uh, teacher strike in Ontario College's history, six weeks. Um, and considering that the entire semester is 13 weeks, yeah, um, not, not ideal. So then, after that, we pretty much lost our Christmas break. Um, some colleges found a way of, they, they, they moved spring break to the hol like the Christmas holidays and just forfeit the spring break down the road. Which was, I think, a smart decision. Because it pretty much um, allowed people to have a couple weeks breather before jumping back into the school year. It said we had a week off. We had a week off and then, sorry, almost guy was not slowing down. Whatever. Um, we had a week off and then we went back into school and then had a week off like within a month and then back into school. Um, for anyone who's been keeping track of my personal journal, thanks for uh, keeping track. It's been a rough year. It's been a very rough year. We had a... Uh, we have a teacher who's he's under investigation from what I've uh, what I've been hearing uh, from several accounts, inappropriate comments, um, just general bad behavior. And I don't blame him. Uh, I have come to a personal conclusion about his career, and I think that he's unfulfilled and he's upset about that. And I can understand that. I know what it's like to be in a workplace where you just have no joy left. Ooh, buoy, contrast. The uh, sun's that direction, so I'm gonna. I'm just crossing the street. I need to. Just going on a walk. Gorgeous day. First week of spring. Hell yeah. Uh, so yeah. Been a hell of a year. Um, I've, I've been told two weeks ago that I'm not graduating. Um, destroyed me mentally for the rest of the day. And then I met with a couple people. They told me it's not up to the said person to decide if I failed or not. And now I'm back on course for uh, passing. Uh, I've had some amazing teachers that have been 150% working, um, trying to find me a placement. Uh, because you, you think free work would sell itself. Um, or at least a concept. Like I, It's not like they even have to find something for me to do. Just... Give me someone to shadow and just won't let me follow. I've had a couple offers for placement. Um, one was in a restaurant. Like, it was in the restaurant side of a hotel. But I wouldn't be follow. Like, I was essentially going to be replacing someone. So they could take a... Like, they could not pay someone for a month. And at the, against the rules, um, I'm not supposed to replace anyone. I'm not free. Free labor. I'm free, but I'm not labor per se. I'm supposed to be learning how the back end of things work. And that I wanted to be in a hotel, and I thought, whatever. So I found a placement with um, this uh, new and up-and-coming company that my one of my professors is uh, starting, which is great. I'm going to be making marketing material, um, stuff like that, which I think is fantastic. Uh, learning this type of, uh, these types of skills can be incredibly valuable, especially in today's eight day and age where everything's like social media and everything has to be on point, on point, what am I even saying? Um, everything has to be presentable, everything has to look professional. Um, if you actually look at my YouTube cover art, my, my Twitter cover art, um, it actually looks somewhat professional now, which I think is, it's cool. It looks great. Um, if you want to check it out, check it out. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna force anyone. I don't, 
I don't care. If you want to check out my YouTube cover art, um, go to my YouTube page. I, I don't know how to how to do the link things. L linking is just not fun. Um, what else? What else? So yeah, last three days of college, fantastic, loving it. Um, got my placement next month. If like, like it still hasn't been confirmed yet, but it's um it's on its way. And then a month of that, 160 hours total work, and then off to England. This would be great. Uh, I don't have to be in a be in Canada anymore. Like I love Canada. Don't get me wrong. I've lived here my whole life. It's the most fantastic country in the world. Like look at it. It's so majestic. <laughs> Living in a town, it sort of distracts from the beauty of this country. Um, yeah, like Canada very much thrives on its natural resources. We have like no population. Um, but yeah, so. <laughs> Yeah, working on his car. It's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, so like, Canada thrives on the idea that we have so much natural space and natural beauty. We do. It's fantastic. We have gorgeous mountains, miles upon miles of forest, um, fantastic weather patterns, aurora borealis, stuff like that. We have just everything. And it's gorgeous up here. But we have a population that could fit inside New York City. <laughs> Um, and then when you live in a town like this, it's not very, not densely populated at all. Um, but there's enough houses that are blocks from everything, like, you, you can't see the, the gorgeous, the gorgeous views, and, and the cars are so distracting, they're just, they're loud. People with motorcycles, because it's, you know, it's the first week of spring, and it's absolute gorgeous weather, I don't even know why I'm wearing a coat, dear lord. Scarf, gloves. Why am I wearing gloves? Ugh. Actually melting now. Oh boy, what just happened? Okay, sorry. I'm just gonna take it off my gloves. Super unprofessional, I know, but you know what? My vlog, my rules. <laughs> so yeah, pretty excited. We had tests and projects pretty much every day. Sorry, tomorrow. Wednesday, one class, and then I'm done. Done with school. I'm working towards this, uh, this expensive piece, piece of paper for four years now. Um, took a couple years off to try to find summer work. It took me two years to find something. <laughs> it's, it's been a tough journey. And, um, yeah. Um, Next couple of months. Next couple of months would be fun. Um, of course, finishing up school, which is great. I'm so, as you can tell, I'm extremely excited about being done school. This this year has been mind numbing. Um, moving to England, big fresh start. We're, we have a, a couple things that I have planned. Um, we'll see how they work out. I want to teach some uh, teach some people. Um, martial arts, because I won't be able to work officially for a couple months after I get there. Um, and need to wait for my, my social insurance something, uh, social security number or whatever they have there, um, to come through, and then I can actually work. Um, but I'm hoping to be doing this unpaid internship for uh, a couple seasons to, like, build up my experience in the hospitality, hotel industry. No, I'm still not 100% sure about that. Um, but in the meantime, I, I, I need a way of making money because I, I like money. Money money is, money is great. Yeah, so making money, uh, probably teaching people how to do lightsaber combat. Like even just basics, you know, basic strikes, basic blocks, uh, basic footwork. Um, leading up to something greater, um, depending... I don't know if they're interested or not. Mm -hmm. There's people with bikes. Um, 
I also hope to get into uh, lightsaber installing. We're gonna, because as we all know, my lightsaber is currently a warrior tier uh, dissident. The warrior tier has no sound. It is essentially a very expensive flashlight with a polycarbonate tube. To... It's a very expensive flashlight. That's why I call it my glorified glow stick. It's uh, nothing special, but I love it to bits. Um, so I'll have to get into lightsaber installs. I've been looking at prices. I found a soldering kit. Soldering kits are not expensive at all. Um, I think overall, I think to get me set up uh, to start installing lightsabers, it'll cost me about a hundred bucks. Uh, the soldering kit's only like twenty, uh, which, if I'm not mistaken, that's like ten pounds. Um, it's not that. It's not that heavy. Brit humor for you. Um, now you got to get the motherboards, the, the uh, speaker switches. I'm hoping to get t uh, dual tactile, um, just because it's harder to hit with your hands that way, and you sort of have to really like no, be, you have to like actually press what you want. Because one of the things that I struggle with is my lightsaber just turning off. Because it's just a uh, momentary switch, um, which essentially no, it's a latching momentary switch. Which means you press it, it holds in that position until you press it again, then it unlocks. Um, so yeah, I'm hoping to get into the installing so I can upgrade my saber so it's actually, you know, better. Like, I love it to bits as it is, but um, so the sound wouldn't hurt. Uh, as for the sound, I'm still formulating what it's going to sound like. I have, some, I have an idea. I'm uh, hoping, I cut, there's a couple of uh, Shamim, I'm going to butcher his last name, so I'm not going to say it. Shamim Custom Lightsaber, uh, it's a company, single guy, he's a great guy, check him out. Um, probably link him in the description, check his work out, it's fantastic. Really hard to get something done by him, because he has such a, such a wait list right now. Um, he, he stops taking after like 40 projects, he has confirmed 40 projects, so take a while before he gets around to you but he does great work five star customer service always um he thrives on his five star uh if there's something wrong and you don't want to give him a five star talk to him and send it back and he will always make sure that you are completely satisfied with your product unless of course if you actually want an actual actual lightsaber that can like cut through doors and Extends and stuff like that is not possible. Um, so don't get angry if he can't supply you with that. If you want a really nice glorified glow stick, though, he can supply that. So yeah, uh, hoping again to the lightsaber installing business. That's like a hobby, like a part-time hobby slash a second income while I'm working unpaid. It's worth it. Working unpaid is totally worth it for, especially for me. I'm I'm young. Like, I'm, I'm young. I can, uh, I can, I can take a year, build up my experience, bolster up that resume. Uh, resume. I don't know what you guys call it down in the states, so I'm not even gonna bother. CV, resume, piece of paper that says, "Hey, this is what I can do, and this is where I've worked. This is my name, and here's my contact number." Blah 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 blah. I'm pretty sure people know what I'm talking about now. So yeah. Uh, currently taking a little bit of a break from doing lightsaber videos. I'm still training in my part, my off times, but it's just setting up a camera. It's a bit of a pain, uh, especially my phone will just decide, hey, I'm just gonna stop recording and turn upwards of a half hour worth of footage into a JPEG. Not cool. Not cool, Samsung. Um, like it's not like it matters, but it's sort of annoying. Because you have to like know where the frame is, uh, depending on how far you are. You have to know um, how to remain in frame. There was, especially during my earlier days in videos, I kept going off frame. So you have to remain on frame. You have to make sure the lighting. Because sometimes there's, I've had whole videos where the lightsaber just the contrast from the sky was too bright. So the lightsaber just did not light up at all. Um, sometimes it's so dark that all you can see is the lightsaber. No fun. Um, that's one thing that I'm hoping to upgrade. A Tri-Cree uh, white white 
um, I think a white, white, green. So it'll be very, very bright white, and then a green flash and clash. Or I'm thinking like a white Arctic blue, deep blue. So it'll be a very, very pale blue, like almost a silvery blue. Oh boy, a lot of people. One second. So, um, yeah, a very nice pale blue with a darker blue flash on clash, which essentially would almost feel like it, like on camera at least, it should essentially give like a very fat blade look, which the white gives out. Um, but then when it flashes to the dark blue, it will almost look like it condenses, like almost like it's getting more solid, which I think would look cool. Um, yeah. Oh, and there's a Comic-Con this weekend, here in Kingston. Uh, nothing big, it's just Kingston Con. King Con, I think is what it's called. Um, held by Queen's University. Uh, stationed at the uh, K Ro Rogers K-Rock Center. Gotta get that branding in there. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm probably gonna be there, so if I have any subscribers that are in Kingston, I don't think there are, but if I do, if, if, if you want to find me, you know what my lightsaber looks like. I don't know if this video is coming out now because there's so many cars up right next to the highway. So I'm going to stop it there. So find me at Kingston, uh, King Con if you are going. Uh, I'll probably be the only white bladed Jedi there in an absolutely terrible looking robe. Um, Halloween robe. I'm still waiting for my custom to come in. Um, i got to get on that. Um, so yeah. My first vlog. I'm sure I'll get better at this. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not very good at vlogs. I've never done it before. I'm hoping to get into some philosophy videos soon. So, hope you all enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Probably get quite a few cuts where I cut out when I'm passing people, or I just stop talking for a couple minutes on end because I'm horrible at speaking. <laughs> and then, yeah, that's. That's Arasag's life right now. That's that's where that's where I be at. So, later's may the force be with you.